free your mind. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we will be looking at the Figma 413 Zenyatta from Overwatch. Now, before we go into this review, I just gotta tell you, I kind of already opened this, and I realized that the video that I recorded before was corrupt. So I kind of already know what to expect from this figure. So we're gonna open him up, and we're gonna see how he is in terms of paint detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. So everything should go a lot smoother the second time, because this is the second time opening him. So enough of me talking. Let's get this guy open, and let's see how he is. This figure was uh, bought by Daniel Hernandez, and so and he said, "Hey." Can you uh, review it? And I said, sure, why not? <laughs> so shout out to Dan Hernandez who has given this figure, or not given, uh, just let me open it and unbox it. And this figure actually is quite amazing. He does have some issues, but we'll get into that later on in the video. So let's go look at this figure and let's see how he is. So no plastic wrapping or anything like that. Cause well, like I said before, I already opened him. And overall, wow, just look at all this beautiful paint and detail, everything on this figure is absolutely amazing. This is a piece of art right here. Uh, for 70 bucks, he is just an amazing looking figure. Uh, Figma always seems to be doing the best that they can in terms of quality control, paint and detail and everything like that. And this is no exception. This is a fantastic figure. It looks exactly like Zenyatta uh, from Overwatch. And he just looks fantastic. And especially with all the features that we're going to look at in accessories, you're going to see that he's even better. So, wow. Uh, one thing about this, the legs, uh, in, in terms of detail, the, le the default legs cannot stand up straight. But in accessories, you're going to see that you can actually use these legs and you can put those on him so he can stand straight. So... Don't think that right away when you get this figure, oh, let's stand him up straight. No, this is how he's going to look like. So just an FYI, don't think, uh, don't think that you can stand him up straight. You need to put on these legs. Uh, despite that, I think everything else is fantastic. Paint and detail, absolutely perfect. I love the silver. It looks very metallic, very nice. And the pants are a matte finish, which gives it a really nice contrast. Absolutely perfect. There's nothing really wrong in terms of paint and detail. So now that we got that out of the way, let's see if we can uh, move right into articulation and scale. So now that I got my trusty ruler here, we're gonna see how he stands just like this. Uh, and he's gonna stand at about five and a half, maybe a little bit more. Uh, just to let you guys know, if you do put these on, you're gonna add, it's, it's gonna be like around six inches. So let's see how he stands with other Figmas. And this is him with the Figma Genji. As you can see, these two work really well together. And of course, my favorite Overwatch character. Let's see if I can get him out here once I can get Zenyatta to stand up straight. Give me one second here. And here is the DX9 Bastion, my main. Let's see if I can get him to stand up straight. This figure is actually quite huge, and also I don't think they make them anymore. So that's a DX9 transformable Bastion. If you want to see how he stands next to a Hasbro. This is my favorite of the last reviews that I did. The, Zen the Zarya, sorry. The Zarya uh, tank from Hasbro looks really fantastic. As you can see, he works really well with the Hasbro, with the, the DX9, and of course Figma. So if you're thinking, hey, does he, does he work really well with other figures from different companies like Hasbro? I'd have to say yes. And last but not least, here is another favorite character of mine, Reinhardt. As you can see, they work really well together. So, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about articulation. We do have an up and down here at the toe, have an up and down here at the ankle. You get a bend at the knee so you can have that, that floaty look right there. That looks really cool. Uh, he doesn't have a waist swivel, but we do get uh, two joints here at the upper leg. We do get a waist swivel, an upper waist swivel. We got a joint here at the shoulder, bicep swivel. Single joint here at the elbow, uh, ball and peg here, or joint here at the wrist, and we do get one at the neck, looking to be under 20 points of articulation, but in all honesty, the, he doesn't really need that much because most of the time he's floating, and the only melee attack he does is that kick that he does, so I guess he doesn't really need that much, but for what he, do, for what he has, he can do all his classic poses 
from Overwatch. So let's move on to accessories. Like I said, I already opened this, so I already pretty much know what to expect. So when it comes to accessories, you do get um, quite a bit, actually. Let me just take everything out and just give me one second here. Now let's talk about this. This is the ultimate that he does. I honestly forgot what it was called. <laughs> Sorry about that. So what's cool about this is that you get this, and it goes right here. There's two holes right in the back. And then you can get this. Let me see if I can get this right. So what this does right here, this one goes here on the upper uh, hole here. And then you could put on his orbs, which is really nice. So you have something like that. So let's see if we can have him floating. Something like that. And then you can put this right here. And now you can experience tranquility. Look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. And he does have a stand, which I guess we should put that on. Since it's uh, this pretty much completes him, per se. In order to get him to float in the air, you do need the stand. Usually I don't put the stand on until like after because it's not a necessity. But in this case, it is a necessity. So if you want that to happen, there you go. And that that way you can get uh, Zenyatta floating in the air like that and looking really, really cool. Uh, now, let's move on to other accessories. I'm just going to show you the hands real quick because we usually just show this at the end of the video anyway. Uh, you get really cool hands. You get the peace sign. Uh, you get the pointy hand right here. Um, you get the flat hand right there. So when he's shooting off his orbs, that's really cool. And then let's look here. So... I don't know if other reviewers have shown this, but I just want to let you know that this right here will usually work with most import stands. Stands like from Mafex, SH Figure Arts, stuff like that will work, and that's really nice. So if you're wondering what that is, that's for the uh, orb of Discord or the Discord orb right there. So you can put it on Reaper, Figma Reaper right there. And if you don't want to put that on, you can take it or on an enemy. We can take uh, Zarya here, who is from Hasbro. And then we can take the Harmony orb right here. Oops, just give me one second here. You can put it on there, which is really cool. Yeah, this pretty much just hangs or it clips on to this part right here. If I can get it to clip, just give me one second. There, sort of. So once you get it to clip like that, and as you can see, that works really well with uh, with Zarya there. That looks really cool. I really like that. Also, it's articulated, so you can have it look like that, so you can get it closer to him. So if you want to use this with different Overwatch figures from different companies, it's very possible as long as you have a stand that fits. So I guess when it comes to like uh, Bastion here, the DX9 Bastion, give me a second here. That leg always seems to be falling off. It will work. Oh yeah, look at that. It will work. That's pretty cool. Obviously he's really big, so it's gonna be really hard to show that off. But yeah, you can do it. I think the only one that can't do it because of the fact that this stand is, yeah is Reinhardt, because his waist is huge, and that's just not going to happen. So that's unfortunate. So as you can see, the uh, the mount for the Discord orb and the Harmony orb will work as long as you have a figure that will fit any of the import stands, like Figma, SH Figure Arts, and Mafex. So uh, last but not least, I just want to go through this really quick. Well, actually, no, not really the last. We'll go over the those last, but let's look at this. This is when he shoots his orbs. This is just his standard attack. And what's cool is that it goes on here. All the orbs on here are removable, all of them. They all have pegs, which is really cool. So you can remove any of them so you can put the shooting one. And then you can put it on Zenyatta like so. And then you can have him have his shooting hand. Let's just, you know, I just really like it when he does the, he does something like this. When I use this character, 
he does like an underhand throw like that. And I just really think that looks so cool when he throws the orb like that. Uh, yeah. So you can do something like that. And since it's, it, uh, since this thing can rotate, because, well, not really rotate, you can just fit it on anything, really. You can get it even closer to the hand like so, which is really nice. So again, all the orbs are removable, so you can fit that effect piece right there when he's just doing his regular attack. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about the legs. Now, this is kind of the negative of this figure. When I first opened this figure, this was incredibly hard to remove. Oh my gosh, this was probably one of the tightest joints to remove. I had to really pry or wiggle this guy open in order to get this to work. So I'm just going to do it only with one leg because I pretty much show you how this looks at the end of the video. So you want, this is the left leg, sorry, not the right. So once you remove that, I highly recommend you use something like Micro, micro pliers to remove the or get in there to help shimmy the leg out if you can just to be extra careful but as you can see it's actually quite easy to put that leg on or or the pant leg once it's removed also by the way you can tell they mark them l and r for left and right which is really nice too and then just remove this like so and you can put it on like that and now he can stand up which is really nice look at that that looks really really sick this figure looks absolutely amazing okay so let's go over the conclusion of this figure of the figma zenyatta is there anything really wrong with him in terms of negative i always like to uh start with a negative when it comes to the conclusion no not really there's nothing really wrong with him like i said before the joints are really tight when you first get them which just shows that there is a solid quality control when it comes to figma they don't want their their joints to be super loose when you get them out of the box which is fine because you want a nice tight figure and uh you just got to work with it okay if you get this figure and you're having trouble with those legs just shimmy them out like kind of twist it out in order to get him to put the standing legs on um yeah, that's pretty much the only issue. Let's talk about the positives. Lots of positives with this. They literally thought of every situation with this figure that you could possibly think of. And when I say that, it's usually because the orbs over here can all be removed. So you can put this on and you can put this anywhere, which is really nice. I really like that. Um, the fact that you can put the, uh, the Discord orb and the Harmony orb on any stand is a major plus and this is very necessary if you want oops sorry uh if you want to use his ultimate so everything is used to its fullest extent and that's what i love about this figure uh it is easily one of the best looking ones from figma from the overwatch series in my opinion just because of all the stuff you get and they're all super functional so anyway that's all that i have for today Thank you for watching a special thanks to Daniel Hernandez who has lent this figure out to me to review. And if you're looking to buy this figure, you can always go to www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.